Today we're going to be telling a story about Bob and Jamie, who are both beginners in the market, but they have major differences. So Bob, a beginner in the market, actually analyzes, studies, and reads the news about any stocks he trades. Jamie, on the other hand, does not study, thinks he's naturally gifted, and has beginner's luck, which means he's been winning in the market just off luck recently. One day, Bob and Jamie traded the same stock. We're going to talk about their decisions when they traded that stock. Now, Bob, who analyzes, studies, and reads the news, knows that the stock bounces between $2 and $2.60. He's been studying it weekly, he's been reading the news on it, and he's been analyzing the trends. So he knows. So with that being said, he wants to buy at $2 or below. Jamie, who doesn't study at all, thinks he's naturally gifted, has beginner's luck, is just going to go in and do what he wants to do. So let's see how this plays out, the decision making. The stock dips from $2.10, so the market opens at 9.30, it opens at $2.10, and it dips to $2. Jamie is saying to himself, I'm not buying that. This, you know, the stock is dipping. Why would I buy a stock that's, that's going down? So the, the stock bounces off $2, and it starts to go up. So now Jamie is thinking to himself, oh, it's going up now. Let me buy. So Jamie buys exactly at its peak. He buys exactly at its peak, $2.45. So Jamie purchases shares at $2.45. Now let's talk about ball. Market opens, 9.30. Starts out at $2.10. It goes down to $2. This is where Bob wants to buy shares. So he's been studying, analyzing, looking at the news. So he knows that it bounces between $2 and $2.60. So he says he wants to buy at $2 or below. So with that being said, he does. He buys. So Bob buys here. So he's in. He got some shares here. And then the stock goes up. So Bob, who, like we said, been analyzing, he's making a profit right here. And where Jamie bought, that's where Bob is going to sell. Because he knows from analyzing that he should take in his profits because this thing is probably going to bounce back down to $2 and then bounce back up again. So at $2.45 is peak. That's where Bob is going to sell. So Bob sells, makes a profit, makes profit. Wow. Jamie, who doesn't analyze, study, and thinks he's just naturally gifted, buys here. Because Jamie thinks, oh, now the stock is going up, so it's going to continue to go up. But what he doesn't know is he just bought at the peak. So what do we think happens to Jamie? Yes. Jamie starts to lose money. Jamie starts going through phases. Psychology plays a big role. Jamie starts going through phases. So it's at $2.45. It starts coming down. $2.35. Jamie is telling himself, oh, it's going to go back up. I know I lost 10 cents first year, but it's going to go back up. He buys that. He's still in at two dollars and thirty-five cents. So he's down ten cents. He's he's losing right now, but he's so conceited and and he thinks he's so gifted and he has beginner's luck that he's like, oh, it's gonna bounce off at two dollars and thirty-five cents and go back up. So I'm just gonna hope. What happens next? It goes to two dollars and twenty-five cents. So now. Jamie has lost 20 cents per share. And he continues to hold until it gets to $2. So now he's lost 45 cents on every share. What does Jamie do? He finally decides to sell. So Jamie sells at $2. 
So he just lost 45 cents per share, right? Now let's talk about Bob's decision. Bob sold here and he already made a profit. Bob tells, tells himself, hmm, I'm gonna wait for it to dip again at $2 or below that, and that's where I'm gonna buy. So it comes down. Remember, Bob studied and analyzed it. Comes down, hits $2, Bob buys some shares. Bob buys, I know this is sloppy, shares. So Bob buys here, while Jamie sells there. Now, Bob knows it's gonna bounce when it hits $1.95 because he's been analyzing it. Meanwhile, Jamie just took a loss. He's sad, he's sick. He just took a loss, 45 cent per share. So we got Bob who just bought it, knowing that it's gonna go up. And what happens? It goes up because Bob has analyzed and studied and looked at the news for weeks. So he knows that it's gonna bounce off $1.95 and go up to 245 or 260, like it usually does. At 330, it goes to $2.60. But Bob sells at $2.45 again, just to run in profits. So what we learned is, when you analyze, study, and read the news, you're better off. When you don't study, when you think you're naturally gifted, and you think you have beginner's luck, when you have beginner's luck, you lose. With that being said, I hope you learned a lot and learned from Jamie's mistakes. If you haven't already, follow my Instagram to see trades I make every day.